everybody Ann here not sitting on the porch today I'm sitting on my rocking chair in the tiny house but I am having my coffee iced coffee again today oh it is so delicious today well I think I'm going to ferment some veggies so that's gonna be pretty cool oh and we're gonna take a look at the wine too to see how that ferment is progressing through the night so Whew, let's get going the first thing I want to do is I want to see what's going on with the wine Oh, yeah, see, I don't know if you can see this and hear it. And all the raisins have come to the top, and it is bubbling like crazy. And this is super great to do it this way. At least I think it is because if you put it in the carboy, uh, you can only put so much in, and it will bubble up and get into the airlock. So this is great. Can you hear that? It's working great. And it smells so, so good. So now we're just going to stir it. Really give it a lot of oxygen. Stir, stir. Oh, look at that. This is so exciting. I love making wine. Let's get this lacto fermentation going. You need a couple fermentation vessels. And I've bought sweet bell peppers in green, yellow, and red. I bought a pack of baby carrots. I like them because you don't have to chop them up. And a big head of beautiful cauliflower. Gonna use some sea salt in it. And also some juice from an old sauerkraut fermentation. You can see it's empty, but I still got the juice. Oh, and some red pepper flakes. They're actually red pepper and jalapeno peppers. And then your utensils. First thing I'm gonna do is just dump these carrots easy enough and then chop up these sweet bell peppers take out the inside all the seeds and the pith and whatnot and I am gonna chop these up relatively kind of I don't know coarsely I guess you'd say it I'm gonna cut them into big pieces because the other pieces are gonna be big and I got my green peppers done got the red peppers done throw it all in there mix it up look how beautiful that is all right next it is the cauliflower time I had already kind of taken some leaves off and rinsed it off and whatnot and now I'm just cutting out the core yeah that came out pretty good that's gonna go in the compost heap all of this extra stuff is just get all this stuff out of the middle and then I'm gonna just cut off any brown spots anything that I don't like the looks of and just get rid of it Put it in the compost bin or I can feed it to the worms. I need to check my worms, that reminds me. And then I'm just gonna kinda like cut this up and break it up. It's not gonna be like any formula. Um, most of the time you can just kinda pull them apart, cut off the stems. Kinda bite-sized pieces, I guess you could say. Tossed around, just because it makes it look pretty. And then start filling your jars just kind of variegate the ingredients so it looks pretty and I can already tell that I'm gonna need another vessel <laughs> yeah, I grabbed another these are quart jars wide mouth they fit my little uh, fermentation caps perfectly just get them filled all the way up to kind of like where the rim is and just kind of pu push them down punch them down you might be able to get a little bit more in there now, I'm gonna put about, oh, two tablespoons of already started sauerkraut juice in it. There you go. And that'll help this fermentation get started a little bit quicker. Just a couple tablespoons is all you need. Then I'm gonna put some sea salt in there. I am putting in a heaping teaspoon for each quart jar. Now, I've never really done it this way before, so we're going to see if this is the good formula or if it is not the good formula. I don't know. I think it'll turn out fine. And then the red pepper flakes. And like I said, it's habanero peppers mixed in with uh, hot red peppers. And I just dehydrated them and crushed them up. And this is what the jars look like. Aren't they gorgeous? Gorgeous! Next, it's time for water. 
just fill them up all the way to within, oh, you know, I don't know, about an inch from the rim. Am I going to have enough? Am I going to have enough? Doesn't look like it there. That's okay. I've got some more water. And just kind of take a knife and run it down the sides just to release any air bubbles. That way you can push it down more, compact it more. You might need to add a little bit more water. It's looking good. And just keep pressing down and add more water as you need it. Now, since I'm going to be making sauerkraut, I'm going to go ahead and take some of these uh, leaves off the cabbage. Now, I've already peeled the very outermost leaves off and discarded them. They're going to go in the compost heap. And just find some leaves that look good to you and put them down into the jar. This will help keep everything else down below the level of the water. And that's very important. And you can check it daily. If it looks like things are rising, that's okay. Just go ahead and push it back down. If you need to add some more water, add some more water. Not a big deal, it's super easy. I wish I had some grape leaves or some oak leaves because the tannins in them help uh, keep the vegetables crispy, but I didn't have any. So we're just, gonna, we're just gonna go with this and see how it turns out. All right, look at how pretty that looks. Doesn't that look pretty? It's perfect. And see, the water level is up just, just to the, to like the rim where, where the, uh, it starts going up. You know what I'm talking about. Now we're going to put on our fermentation lids. And an awesome subscriber sent this to me. And I think there's one, two, three, four. I think there's a couple more, a couple more in there. Maybe just one more. And then just fill them up kind of halfway. There you go. And then put your caps on. And what this is going to do, it's going to allow carbon dioxide to escape, which is a byproduct of fermentation, and not let air in. Look at how beautiful that looks. Are they beautiful? I love them. I cannot wait to see what those vegetables are going to taste like and see how long it takes for them to ferment. So it's going to be exciting. I love doing this kind of stuff. Fermenting, preserving, winemaking, all of it. It's just, it makes my my heart happy. Anyhow, I've been getting some stuff in the mail and via UPS and FedEx and yep, it's pressy time. And I know this is going to drive some people crazy, but I'm going to go ahead and share with you what I've recently got. Now, all of this stuff comes from somebody who wants to remain anonymous. In fact, there's two separate people um, that have sent me things recently and they don't want their names. So um, let me show you what I got. Alrighty, in one box I got one of these little thingies that you, um, it's a icy cool towel. I can't get it out right now. Well, yes I can, yes I can, yes I can. All I have to do is wet it. Wet it and then it's supposed to stay cool and it will keep me cool out here. So in a few minutes I'm going to go wet this because you know what? It is really, really hot out here. Alright, I'm just going to set this over there. All right. Oh, okay. I got some. I got some gel, some pain relief gel. So that's another thing, because I have buccal joint pain, especially when it precipitates and it gets rainy and whatnot. And here's another thing for my glasses: nice and clean lens cleaning wipes. I need these. You know what? I'm always like cleaning my lenses with my my shirt and sometimes it's kind of sweaty so I can't really see very well. Okay, so that was in one box. So this person kind of knows me, um, knows what my needs are and kind of anticipates things. So here's another thing. All right. Now y'all know I'm completely off grid. I exist completely on solar. I have no generator and so I have no refrigerator. So shelf stable items are really important to me. This person got me like a gazillion Golden's spicy, <laughs> spicy Brown Mustard. And I've been using this on my sandwich wraps and whatnot and it is so delicious. Also included in this bag, well, some mints, yum. Single serving size ketchup, which is very, very thoughtful. 
because if I open a big thing of ketchup, well, I have to refrigerate it and I don't have to with these. So there's no waste. And Hellman's Real Mayonnaise, the little individual packs for me. Oh, what's this? Cholulu hot sauce. Oh, oh, hot sauce, single serving size. So this is great. Very, very thoughtful. Thank you. I love it. All right, what's next? Oh, I've been using this for the last couple of days. This is single serving instant coffee. And this is great for times like right now when it's super hot outside and, you know, first thing in the morning it's already like 84 degrees and it's humid so it feels really, really hot. So making like iced coffee with this, that's what I've been doing. I've been making iced coffee and this has been wonderful. It t it's tasty and I love it. Okay. Now, she also sent me... She saves these little containers, and I save them, too. Um, I've got couscous that comes in these, and I like to save them. You can put things in them. Well, she sent me two of these. One of them was filled with these peppermints, and I absolutely adore peppermint candy. I eat it so much, and I haven't had any for a long time. So, And you can already see some of it's gone. Um, so this is awesome. And in the other one, she filled it with clothes pins. And that's, you know, I used each and all, well, almost every one of them when I did my big load of laundry the other day. So that was very, very useful. So I got two of these, one with peppermints, one with clothespins. All right. And then, oh, here, <laughs> yeah, more nice and clean lens cleaners. And she sent me a couple very nice notes. Now, this one blew me away. And you may have seen these already earlier in the video and maybe underneath my little cabinet in a prior video she sent me a big huge thing of these i think there's like 12 in there i don't know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yep and what they are is basically dish pans and they are wonderful um, they are just big enough to be able to stack them full of stuff and shove up underneath of my little cabinet thingy um, I can soak my feet in them. I can use them to chop up vegetables and put them in there. Um, tomorrow I'm probably going to do some sauerkraut. I didn't get it done today. Um, and I needed a big bowl, so I don't need a big bowl anymore. Um, I can plant in these. I can do a great number of things in these. So that was very thoughtful. And they're just the right height, too. Okay. What's next? The next thing, we're going to have to get up and walk a little bit. It is scorching hot outside, so I went ahead and wet this, and it gets very cool after you wet it. But check this out. Let's see if I can do this. Look. Look at that. See that? That is my new wagon slash wheelbarrow. Here, let's get a better look at it. A very wonderful person who wants to remain anonymous sent this to me, and I put it together today, and it took me forever. The instructions were horrible. I gave up, and I just kind of figured it out. There's a couple bolts I need to turn around. I think they're supposed to go to the outside. But otherwise, this is great. It's very sturdy. It can carry several buckets in it. So, I don't know, maybe tomorrow I might have to go over and talk to Mr. Lucas if it doesn't rain and get some water because my plants, they're not dying, but look... They're not looking so hot. They really aren't. I'm not going to take you down by the street because you know what? You don't want to see down by the street. Nothing is going on down by the street except for death and dryness and desolation. <laughs> anyway, you know what? That's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.